Okay, so today we are going to be talking about how to take care of your violin and bow. Okay, so first of all, make sure that when you put your um, viol- your bow into your violin case, make sure to loosen the st- um, uh, strings before putting it in. Because if you tighten it and keep it tightened inside your violin case, and then when you play, the top of your bow, this part, might snap off. It's happened to me a couple times, and it's pretty annoying. Okay, and then when you put your violin inside your case, make sure you zip it up fully so that if you carry it around, your violin's buckle won't um, collapse on you, and then the violin will fall out. Also, make sure that the violin holding this, um, this part, make sure it's fully secured, and never leave it open, because then... If that actually happens, if it falls out, then you'll have to buy another one. And then when you put your violin into your case and close it, make sure to put nothing on top of your violin because it could crush the case and then crush your violin on top. Okay, so now we are going to talk about um, your fingerings on your violin. So... Um, There is the E string, A string, D string, and G string. Um, So there is um, first finger. So let me show you. So there is the first finger, which is right here. And then the second finger is right there. And the third finger is pretty close to the second finger. Keep it close to it. And the fourth finger is also pretty close to the third finger. You could... Um, put tapes to show where your fingers are supposed to go. It's been helpful for me when I started playing the violin. Okay, so second of all, how to put your bow on the violin. So when you're playing the violin, make sure that it stays between the bridge and the black part. Because if it goes on the black part, it will be the sound will be pretty weak and. If you're playing like really high notes like that, you will like get your finger and it does not feel very good. And then make sure to never put your bow on the bridge because then it could damage the bridge and also damage the bow hairs. And never put it beyond the bridge because that will destroy these um, strings which are protecting the string from uh, um, tightening too much. Okay, um, I hope you liked this video. I hope I hope it was helpful. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget to click that notifications bell to get more info when I post more videos. Thank you for watching.